Hello, this is Mecha Joe one and I just wanted to give you guys an update on the progress on the driving the vacuum fluorescent display with Arduino. I got it working. So there's my Arduino uh, Demlenevo. I don't know how you say that. Whatever it is. Um, and there it is. It's working. It says Arduino Hello World. So um, I'm probably driving it in totally the wrong way, um, but it does work. It's like probably the most crude way to do it because I don't really know any other way to do it. So, um, but I'm sure some of you guys can help me with, out with that. I'm actually going to go off to, um, over to Hack Pittsburgh here in a couple minutes. I'm just finishing up my dinner. Yum. Homemade Reuben. Homemade Reuben. Yummy. Um, but anyways, so lots of them. I actually took a class over there, and that's how I got this far, um, is from the class just learning how to turn LEDs and stuff like that off. They gave, or the class, part of the class was getting this diode shield, which is a really nice little um, kit. There's the website. But this was actually designed by another makerspace, and it's got a buzzer, relay, um, two LEDs. This is actually an RGB LED, to a switch and a button, um, thermistor, Hall effect sensor, light sensor, um, encoder, and a um, resistor or a variable resistor um, potentiometer. So it's a really nice little kit, um, and it's also got a stepper or, um, servo motor. So you get a good intro to how to drive, how to use Arduino, and it's just a um, just a shield that goes on the Arduino. Um, but so I took a class, and that's where I got that, and learned how to turn LEDs on and off and stuff like that. So that helped me get this far. Um, so basically, what I have here is well, first I start out with this. This is just the alphabet. So first I just have define. So um, pin 13 is right. So that's the one pin on the display, you basically put the um, high and low on each output or on each digital pin. So there's eight digital pins for this display. And say if you put a um, if you put a high here and a high here and a high there, then on each on each output, then um, push have a push a high to the right pin. It will basically display that code whatever it is in the um, hexadecimal. So, say if you put a, um, I don't know, you just, I already explained this in my other video, so go watch that if you want a better ex explanation. So basically what I'm doing is um, putting highs and lows on each pin, and it's pretty manual labor, I guess you could say. So I have each pin here defined, so, um, so D0 is defined, or pin 0 is defined as D0, so anywhere in my, um, pro, anywhere down here, where I have D0, that's going to be pin pin one or pin zero. So instead of writing out pin zero low, it's just easier to put D D whatever, and it references back to that. So it's it's really nice little um, way to do it. And they taught me that in the class. Where's my mouse? Okay. So so the first thing here, I just have my void set up. Um, I still don't understand this, and I don't claim to know everything, so you guys can figure this out for yourselves. I'm sure lots of you guys know this better than me. But um, So I have set all pins low. That just kind of resets everything, makes sure that nothing is going bonkers before I start going into here. Um, so then I have clear display, so that's why it, it updates every, um, <clears throat> every, I don't know, probably two seconds or something like that. Um, so we have clear display, which is basically the code for clear display, which um, is in here somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna be fine. Okay, here we. So display clear. So 15 in hexadecimal. That's what that does. Um, and then, so that clears the display and re basically resets it. Then we have A. So here's A, which is. Um, D6 high, everything else low, and D0 high. Very simple. Then I have write high, then delay for 100 my, uh, nanoseconds or whatever it is, microseconds, um, and then write low. So that basically writes whatever that code is there to the display. And then, yeah, it basically works like a latch or a, um, a memory. So it latches it basically. So then I've got B, C, D, E, and I'll, I'll upload this sketch here. And you can see that this is just basically the ABCs. And then what I did to write Arduino, um, hello world, I basically just copied the code from here for each one. So I copied the A, pasted it here, that was what I did. So here you go, the alphabet. So it 
does each one for 100 uh, microseconds or whatever the time is, and then um, it waits for, uh, I think it's 1,500 or something. So there's the alphabet, and then you can do the Arduino one. So it's really simple. I'm sure you could probably, I'm sure there's a much better way to do this, but I don't know how to do that. So something with libraries. I was trying to figure out how to do libraries, but I do not understand it yet. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So that's my progress on the display. But yeah, it does work. So yeah, that's my progress. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and keep experimenting.